when it comes to this specific six foot five athletic sensation, no matter where he displayed his talent, he's always competed at a very high level and was just born with a competitive type of demeanor and a very high motor, but has also maintained a precise type of work ethic that's truly put him in the upper echelon. But even when things didn't go his way throughout his journey, he's always managed to come back sharper than ever. This is the Amari Bailey story. Amari Bailey was born on February 17, 2004 in Chicago while being raised by his mother, Johanna Leah. Now, his father, Aaron Bailey, so happened to be a stellar football player and even went on to be an undrafted free agent in 1994, but also worked his way up to play five seasons with the Indianapolis Colts and even went on to be ranked among one of the best return specialists in franchise history. But growing up on the basketball side of things, Amari had that Chicago gritty type trait in his game. Now, one thing that he's always remembered every single time he stepped foot on the basketball court was the day he got cut from his fourth grade basketball team. Saying he had a smooth feel for the game was quite an understatement as he was quite unorthodox the way he used his left hand and was practically unguardable when he went left. So during his middle school years, he really continued to come into his own as a player. It was clear by now that he was simply in a class of his own. But what really made him stand out was the way he attacked the rim so aggressive. In March of 2018, as a eighth grader, he had already earned his share of Division I offers, in which he chose to commit to UCLA later that year. Now, prior to high school, both Amari and his mother were featured in Bringing Up the Ballers, a lifetime reality show that followed Chicago area entrepreneur mothers of the basketball players. But by the time he got to high school, he decided to take his talents to Cali. There, he would attend Sierra Canyon. And as a freshman, he was already six foot four and even learned the ropes from his upperclassmen teammates, Casilla Stanley, Scottie Pippen Jr., and KJ Martin. It was a bit of a learning curve for him, but that season, he was able to put up five points, three rebounds, and three assists per game. That was good enough to help his squad win the California Interscholastic Federation Open Division state title. Shortly after, he represented the United States at the 2019 FIBA Under-16 America's Championship in Brazil. There, he would maintain averages of 13 points, four rebounds, and three assists per contest, which helped his team win the gold medal. That next season, he had some very special company joining him, like five-star recruits Zaire Williams, Brandon Boston Jr., as well as players like Zaire Wade and Bronny James. That season, he was able to earn all CIF Open Division honors, but now as his junior season rolled around, he went on to average 29 points, 9 rebounds, and 7 assists per contest. He played both sides of the ball and was nearly unguardable when coming downhill. He ended that year being named California Mr. Basketball, Los Angeles Daily News All-Area Player of the Year, as well as the Gold Coast League MVP. By now, his play on the court allowed him to earn offers from big-time collegiate programs like Michigan, Kentucky, Kansas, and Illinois. As a senior, Bailey averaged 19 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. In that year, his squad went 26-5, and five, but did wind up coming up short in the CIF State Open Division Regional title game. But still, the 5-star recruit was ranked the second-best shooting guard in the nation by ESPN, but was also the number one rated player in Cali by ESPN as well as 24-7 sports. Amari was able to end his high school campaign, becoming a McDonald's All-American, but also signed a letter of intent to play college basketball at UCLA. Coming into his freshman season, he had high expectations. And a big question mark to his game when coming out of high school was whether or not if he could score efficiently. And as the season went by, he would slowly start living up to those expectations. The six foot five guard managed to convert on 56.1% of his field goal attempts, but also went on to make practically 39% of his regular season three-point attempts. Now, his ability that he showed consistently on a gamely basis to operate at the point guard and shooting guard positions effectively, as well as his defensive presence, really did check off a lot of boxes that NBA teams look for. But as his squad reached the March Madness, he honestly took matters in his own hands to really show what he was made of. Like when he came up big in the Sweet 16 appearance, versus Gonzaga.
but even though his team came up short, he still displayed that he had that it factor inside of him. Now, although he only maintained season averages of 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists, which wasn't anything too crazy, NBA scouts still saw the first round type of potential that he had inside of him, especially since UCLA's offense isn't the most fitting for one and done type of talent. Bailey was named Pac-12 Freshman of the Week four times, more than any other player, but also earned one of the five spots on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team, despite missing most of January with the foot injury. And following the season, he made the ultimate decision to enter the 2023 NBA Draft. With the 41st pick in the 2023 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Amari Bailey from UCLA. Amari Bailey, the freshman guard, is in the crowd here. He joined Zach Levine. Bailey has also been coming into his own in the summer league, where he so far has been averaging 12 points and 4 rebounds a contest. And versus the Warriors, his aggressiveness allowed him to drop 17 points and 4 rebounds, but in a 98-83 loss in the California Classic, he went 6 of 19 from the field in a perfect 5 from 5 from the free throw line in just 17 minutes of action while coming off the bench. And quite honestly, he's really showed that he should have been a first round pick and might just be the steal of the whole entire draft. Amari Bailey has approached the game the same way he did well before gaining any type of high recognition. And the fiery type of drive that he's always brought to the court paired up perfect with his gifted talents, which has undoubtedly allowed him to unlock his lifelong dream of making it into the NBA. I think, um, more so just like, staying pure and like who i am yeah. um never forgetting like no matter like what is like come with um just like hooping and just life in general not ever losing myself um so. like just remain solid and ten toes um and knowing what works for me and what doesn't work for me like and with that being said ladies and gentlemen this is the amari bailey story